Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another one of our course vlogs. This is part two, the back nine out here at Skylinks uh, Golf Course here in Long Beach, California. This is right across the street from the Long Beach Airport. This is a great, great golf course. And as compared to most of the golf courses around here, this golf course is planted with almost 100% Bermuda grass, hard and fast conditions almost year round out here in California. Hey, make sure you smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to see you back here. Let's get out there to the 10th hole. It's a drivable par four. Let's go for it. 305 to the front edge. Let's avoid all the trouble. And send this one down close to the green. Hopefully we can hit it, but it's gotta go right over those set of trees down the left-hand side. And luckily, I landed this one just in front of the green, leaving myself a relatively simple up and down here from 50 yards. Now, unfortunately, that pitch shot left me above the hole, but it's only 15 feet. Let's see if we can feed this one on down there. Finally was able to get a putt to drop for the first birdie of the day, taking me back down to one over par, and we're on to the first par five on the back nine. Now this is a long one, 575 yards from the tips, and that bunker down the left absolutely comes into play, but this one was way out to the right. A big slice for me here, and now I'm trying to counteract that and hit somewhat of a high draw with the three wood back up over the trees and onto our fairway. I just snaked it between all the fairway bunkers down here on the layup, and I was able to hit this gap wedge on the green and pretty tight, giving myself another look for back-to-back -back birdies. But it just didn't break as much as I thought. Just a comfy tap in par and we're on to the 12th hole. Two bunkers down the right hand side and I wanna drop this drive in between those two. The three wood should be a perfect distance about 280 to 290 yards flying off the tee. And it was perfect, just behind the second bunker here in the fairway and a somewhat simple 90 yards up to the back flag, but I just couldn't get it all the way back there. The back of the green here actually dips down. The middle of the green is the highest part, so it's a little funky with the back of the green falling away from you as you see it from the fairway. Just another lag down there to three feet and another comfy tap in par. Now here's the first par three of the back nine. 13 here is very unique as the front of the green is perched up, making it a blind shot, and you're not gonna be able to see the surface of the green from any of the tee boxes. Now, just trying to get this up and down from next to the bunker, and I couldn't get that chip shot to stay next to the hole at all. Almost rolled in this par putt from a long distance away, but ultimately it's gonna be the first bogey Canceling out that birdie from two holes ago, and we're back to two over par. Now we're starting two of the most dramatic dog legs I have ever played back to back. First, here on the 14th, we have a somewhat drivable par four if you severely cut the corner. I hit a bomb over the corner just into the greenside bunker, and I'm looking to get my up and down Sandy to get back that bogey from the last hole. I'd love to make a birdie here. That's a great leave. Six feet here for birdie. Let's get it right back. There we go. And now we're facing another par five with just as severe as a dog leg as we just saw on the last par four. Now I chose to take a very aggressive line over the trees, seeing just how much I could possibly cut off the dog leg and I just left it next to the previous tee box and here next to the cart path. Gonna have to hit a somewhat punch shot, but realistically it only has to fly low for the first 15 yards of the total distance. 
That's something that's crucial to understand when you're hitting it out of the junk. That ball, once it goes 15 yards, it can do whatever it wants, and I needed it to fly 212 there to get to the flag, so a full four iron was required, but I just needed to flight it just a touch to get it under that tree. Here to the back of the green, I did not hit a good eagle putt here next to the hole. Just a little bit outside, gimme range, and um, yeah, I didn't even give this birdie putt a second look, and I missed it. So, it is a par. I'm going to stay at one over par, and we're on to the last par three of the day. Just a simple little short iron over the lake here. This typically plays back into the breeze, so I did club up to my eight iron here to hit it into the middle of the green. I'm just going to feed one down here from 30 feet. It's really slippery heading back down to the front of the green. Left this again just outside gimme range, but this time I gave it the second look that it deserved, and I rolled it on in to salvage the par and head down to a difficult closing stretch. Here, the 17th, is a tough, long par 4. All the trouble here is on the left. Two sets of bunkers that you're going to have to avoid, and the second set is right in play with my driver, so I'm really airing off to the right. Just a little bit too far off to the right, but I was in between the two holes here and I could loft my pitching wedge up and over the tree and just onto the front of the green. But here you're going to face the most severe green on the entire golf course. And this middle flag sitting just above this ridge was treacherous. Just couldn't get the distance right on it and I came on up here, did not give it a second look. And what do you know, I lipped it out again and there's another bogey back down to two or par. Man, that's frustrating. So, needless to say, I was a little bit angry, and this hole is downwind. That's all I got. That's absolutely all I got. This ball took off a good uh, 340, I'd say, in the air, plus a good 20 yards of roll here. Just a simple sand wedge into the middle of the green as this hole was tucked all the way around the water on the far left hand side. Was not going to get caught and going flag hunting with this one and just couldn't get that long birdie putt to drop. Oh boy. Well, this one's close enough. It's in for a par and an even par back nine. Hey, that's going to wrap it up here for us. Please don't forget to smash the like button down below. You can subscribe as well. It's free to do. Love to see you here week after week for some more golf. Later.